everybody. I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101, and we're here at America's largest RV show in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and I'm sitting here with Mike Sokol, electrical engineer, uh, electrical safety expert, and today I wanted to talk to Mike briefly about something that occurs all the time with RV owners, and that's you have an RV, and you want to take it, and you want to wire an outlet at your house that you can plug this RV into. Well, this plug that's on your RV resembles a 240 volt plug so the owner hires an electrician to come out to their house and get this plug wired and what happens when we wire a 240 volt plug for this 120 volt RV plug Mike well, RVs are not designed for 240 volts. Well, larger ones are. But if you have a, an RV that's set up with what we call a, a TT30, that is the standard RV plug, that's the only place that this is used in the industry. It looks so similar to the old style 30 amp dryer plugs that many unknowing electricians will accidentally wire it up to 240 volts. If you plug your RV into it, even for a couple of seconds, it will virtually destroy every piece of electronics inside of it. It'll, it'll take out the microwave, your battery chargers, your inverters, anything that you've got going will be destroyed. And your insurance may have trouble with this. And in fact, I've had a couple of readers email me that an electrician had done this. They paid the electrician to do it. It blew up their RV. And then the electrician asked if they would, if the owner would cover this under their home insurance because he didn't want his own insurance to know about it. So, so here's the thing. They're marked with 120 volts on them. It's be absolutely certain if you're paying good money for this that you warn them it's 120 volts and you go through test procedures that I show on my No Shock Zone website. Double check the outlet before you plug in your RV the first time. Um, and after that, it should all be safe. And if you're going to a friend's house and they said, I've just wired up a 30 amp outlet for your RV in the driveway, ain't it great? Test it. Test everything. You can never be too careful.